I have found the most unique capital tour of them all. I'm not sure what the count is, but this is around my 30th capital. And when we went in to take the tour, the gentleman said, do you want to take the historic tour or the dome tour? The dome tour, it consists of 296 steps and you go all the way to the dome. Well, of course, we're doing the dome tour, but you'll want to hang on until the end of the video to see some great parts of the historic tour of this beautiful capital. It's the capital of Kansas. It's in Topeka. Travel across America with me. The classical inspired building is Kansas's most important architectural treasure, as well as the working offices for the governor and legislators. Completed in 1903, the Capitol is 17 feet higher than the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. It was restored to its early 20th century appearance. It's at 8th and Van Buren Street. We walked around the entire gorgeous, stunning, Capitol building. And the Capitol features a dramatic array of art, sculpture, and colorful Kansas history within its walls and on the grounds. The Visitor Center is the gateway to the Capitol. Let's go to the dome. You have to find the visitor entrance. It's on the lower level. Follow the sidewalk down to the entrance to the Visitor Center. Here's the Visitor Center. Let's go in. Of course, you have to pass through security. The ones like at the airport. There is the historic tour and the dome tour. They're offered Monday through Saturday. Check the hours before you go. We caught the 315 Dome Tour. You meet by the cage elevator. Okay, I don't think this clock works, but I love these clocks. We're going to the top of the dome. Look at that. You see that? We're going outside there. When you enter the visitor center lobby, the Capitol store is to your left. The information is forward and on the floor, you will see the 105 counties in Kansas depicted in stone. The map is placed to accurately reflect true north. They have a video and more photographs in the auditorium. We only had a few minutes before the dome tour started. And the dome tour? It includes a ride on the cage-style elevator. Wait till you see it. Have you subscribed yet? If you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you please subscribe? But back to our tour. And remember, after we go outside on top of the Capitol building, we'll return down and take you to see a few sites on the historic tour. We took the self-guided tour. We passed through the construction hall to get to the elevator to go on up at the cage elevator. I thought that this regular elevator was gorgeous also. There are a few safety rules. The tour's 296 steps to the top of the dome include a series of straight, steep, narrow, spiral, and irregularly spaced landings and stairs. There are no rest areas, seats, or restrooms available on the tour route. Be sure you really want to go. And of course, if you have any sort of impairments, you might not want to take this tour. It is, uh, well, it is 296 steps. And wait till you see that spiral staircase. Proceed slowly and single file up and down the stairs and act responsible while on the tour. Pay close attention. No large heeled shoes. I had on flip-flops. Of course. Do not drop items over the railing. Oh no. And do not ride on any dome surface. If you want to quit, just tell the guide. We're going on the other side of this beautiful dome. Our tour started out with eight people, including us, Two bailed right away. Two more bailed on the next flight. The other two bailed on the flight before the spiral staircase. So the tour guide and the two of us were the only ones that who continued to the top. There are two domes. The exterior dome and the interior dome. Our guide explained to us that the reason that there were two is for heat purposes. This would keep the temperature in the main building more tempered by having the second dome. The stairwell is the original. It's put together with rivets. And it's as solid as a rock as the day when it was built. And when was that? That was in 1903. I'll tell you a few things about the Capitol when we take our self-guided partial historic tour a little bit later in this video. But isn't this gorgeous? But those stairs, they scared away most of the people. Now here we go. We're on the other side. And we found graffiti everywhere. Yet they painted the sides of the column so you couldn't see the graffiti when you were in the interior of the Capitol Rotunda. As you looked up, you didn't notice all the graffiti. But on this tour, you can see the graffiti. And it's strictly forbidden now. And how did the graffiti get there? The guide told us that anyone could go into this area at any time. And so young people would go up there and goof off. And one of the things they would do is scribble their names. One of the 
times when she was taking a tour group up, one of the gentlemen on the tour had put his name decades and decades ago when he was in high school. I wonder if he wrote his name on it again. Uh, we'll never know, will we? Look at those spiral stairs. And yes, we're going to be going up there. I could see where this was a little intimidating. That platform holds the new chandelier. It was added to give more stability to the new chandelier. On each level, our tour guide took a little break so we could rest. And there were so many windows you could catch great views of Topeka and the surrounding countryside. They did not allow you to take photographs as you were walking the stairwell. But when she stopped and when we were not climbing stairs, we could take all the photographs that we wanted. We were there in the late afternoon. As I mentioned, we took the 315 tour and there was a fabulous shadow of the dome across the lawn. I found our car. Let's continue up. We reached the top of the spiral staircase and we were looking through the windows and she was juggling around with the door and I unlocked the door and says, okay, we can go outside now. I had no idea we were going outside. This is fabulous. Let me take you around the top. If you're ever in Topeka, I highly recommend, if you're physically able, take this tour. 296 steps, and remember what goes up must come down. We return down the spiral staircase, the straight stairs, to reach the cage elevator. The cage elevator is an antique, and it was installed in 1923. You can ride the elevator from the first to fifth floor without taking the dome tour if you would like. There is an elevator operator. How many times have you been in an elevator that there was an elevator operator sitting in the elevator to run it? Well, they didn't have to be sitting. How many times have you been in an elevator that there was an operator? You must be accompanied by a tour guide to visit the dome. Now let's go back downstairs, down the cage elevator, and back to the basement to see a few of the exhibits, such as this. This is an original window from the dome when it was completed in 1903. And this is the copper door from the Capitol Dome that was used to access the outside viewing deck. This sledgehammer was used by the Republican Speaker of the House. The original smashed doors are now on display at the Kansas Museum of History. Wow, that seems like that would be a worth a trip to go see. Lots of old photographs. In the rotunda room, you can find exhibits on symbols of Kansas, including their state marine fossil. It's a mosasaur. This sword belonged to abolitionist John Brown during his time in Kansas. And I always love these vintage maps. I tried to find some fossils in the wall, but I wasn't able to. I was in too much of a hurry. But I'm sure there are some somewhere in this exposed limestone. The inner dome is composed of 256 glass panels. The 900-pound chandelier is a replica of the original fixture, which was donated in 1942 to the World War II scrap metal drive. Representing nations or states that have claimed all or portions of Kansas are flown in the rotunda. The United Kingdom, the French monarchy, the French Republic, Mexico, Spain, Texas, United States, and Kansas. The Senate chamber features several types of marble, the original native wild cherry wood desk, and massive hand-cast columns with ornate circular grills that once encouraged air circulation. Artist Michael Young of Kansas City created a mural in 2018 to depict the legacy of the 1954 landmark U.S. Supreme Court desegregation case with roots in Topeka. The Brown v. Board of Education mural is located outside the state Supreme Court, where earlier civil rights cases were fought, leading the way to the turning point in the history of the United States. And I will be taking you to the National Park at the school where a little girl named Brown went and started the whole thing. There is so much to see and do. Take a tour for yourself. And don't forget to walk out on the grounds. There's plenty to see out there also. I enjoyed seeing the pictures of the construction of this gorgeous structure. It's time to wrap things up. I do encourage you to visit your state capital and any nearby states. And whenever on vacation, if possible, visit the capital of the state you are in. There's always so much history to see and learn about. And like we stumbled on this great tour, the Dome Tour. 
How unique. We found out it's the only one of its kind in all of the 50 states. Our tour guide said that she thinks that Colorado is starting to do tours like this. There are a few others that give dome tours, but you have to know someone in government to be able to get in. This is the only one currently open to the public. Flip-flops on the ground in Topeka, Kansas. And speaking of on the ground, found this plaque. It said President Ford's visit. This is embedded in the stairs on the north side of the Capitol. From this landing on February 11, 1975, the President of the United States, Gerald R. Ford, spoke to 12,000 people before addressing a joint session of the Kansas Legislature in the House of Representatives. Please be sure to subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what capitals you have visited.